Hello everyone, Carrie Bradford here. In this video I'm going to show you how you can work with um, the designs from the recipe cards kit in Photoshop and that would apply for Photoshop elements as well. This kit is totally customizable so you can choose your own colors, the style of the white space, you can pick your own label, just lots of choices and it's, it's just great because you can just make it however you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to go into open into the PSD directory and this has the three different styles and you're probably looking at it going okay where's all the stuff if you were familiar with or if you've watched the other videos for how to use it in studio you know there were a lot more things. The beauty of doing it this way is that everything is all in one file so all you have to do is open up your file so I'm gonna go ahead and let's play with the 5x7 in this example so I'm just gonna click on that and you can see it opens up and there are some choices just already up and going for you but if you look over here at your left you're gonna see the the five different patterns that are available and then you're gonna see the two different insets one is the one that looks like this and then the wide one if I were to click on the eye and turn it on you can see it now goes from edge to edge so that automatically just pops that on for you if you wanted to you could turn off the other one but that that shows you how you can go from edge to edge if I wanted to change the design let's maybe change it to the chevron and as you can see it just kind of overlaps that particular one so we want to go ahead and turn off the diagonal so that you can see the chevron design behind it and then we have the different label choices so here I picked this one. If we wanted to pick uh, another one, you know, we could we could choose that one and then just simply click on that eye to turn that one off. You can see just how easy this is. And you know, then you can of course move it around wherever you might want it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that arrow and turn off that one. And let's maybe move it over here or if you wanted to, you could move it like so, or we could even ro rotate it like so and use it, oops, and use it maybe like down here. Just, you know, there's a plethora of ways you can use it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back up there. And then I'm going to choose a other little label. And this is really kind of a cute little accent that you could use on your thing. And you could say something like, let's type something. I'm gonna make sure I've got the white going. I'm gonna put makes 30 cookies. If I'm, you know, kind of playing off that same cookie recipe that I've been uh, messing with this whole time. Let me just change my font to something. We'll just do something simple like the Myriad. Let's see, Myriad Pro. And let's maybe, oops, let's uh, scale down the font size a little bit. And we can just put that right in there and adjust it around. And you can see, you could write something that it yields, or you could put, you know, comes from, you know, my best friend, Christy Banks, <laughs> or something like that. I've got plenty of recipes from Christy Banks that are awesome. Anyway, and, you know, again, we can just kind of, um, I'm holding down my alt and clicking on that um, text and dragging it up over here. That just makes a quick copy. So I could come in here and just type, you know, chocolate chip cookies and on the bottom one I want to widen it and I'm just using alt to my right arrow and that widens it and I am going to center justify Let's move that up a little bit so I, I want to decrease that spacing there let's maybe go 14 and then I want to center my text so I'm just click on the paragraph and then come over here so anyway it's just something really really quick and easy that you can do um, I'm decreasing the the line spacing between it by using this little item here just to kind of bring it in closer together so look at how quick that was easy you know you could just quickly just do that and print it out or you can even come in here and type your text however you want to do that and say I want, oh, you know what, I really don't want the green background, or you know what, maybe I do want the green background, but let's choose a different color. So we come in here, we can kind of click maybe, let's go aqua. And 
maybe somewhere, I don't know, somewhere in there, and say OK. And then what we want to do is with that layer selected, we want to come up to Edit and come to Fill. And then we want to make sure that our, we choose the foreground color. And you can see that we specified that foreground color. And then say OK, and you can see it automatically changes it. Now, I believe that that is the same in Photoshop Elements. I My copy of Elements is not... I had some problems installing it, so I can't go out there and confirm it. But from what I understand is that there should be something similar to that, fill layer or fill, um, to where you can just modify the color. If it was something like the houndstooth pattern, this is all connected. So I can go and I can choose the houndstooth, I could choose the paint bucket and fill it up with it like that. So that one is, you know, just one color, one pattern, one one shape. So that's why that one I could just go ahead and do the whole thing. If I were to choose the stripe and try to do that, it would only it would only do it one at a time. I need to go into edit, fill and then choose that foreground color and say OK. And you know, that's kind of a fun thing to do too, is you could go through and just, you know, do it every other one. Or, you know, you can go into the center of them too and, and change your, you know, change whatever it is you want. Um, it, the possibilities are just, you know, enormous <laughs> with this stuff. So you can also, you know, you could change the color of, oops, I'm trying to get that. Oh, let's go to the, Let's go to the inset and, and fill in that. So you could come in here and fill those lines. If you wanted to, you could change the color of these lines just by, oops, you don't want to click on the white space and <laughs> make sure you click on, the <laughs> click on the line and that will go through and it will change those colors. So, you know, again, you can change and manipulate this however you want. You know, we can change that, oops, let's get on our label. Let's get on the right label and come over here and you can see we've changed that. So lots of fun to be had here. Just a lot of things that you can do. Another great idea would be to save your recipe that you have made out as a JPEG. You have it on file for any time that you have to go to a wedding shower or you want to pass out recipes at a, at a function or whatever. You just have that all ready to go. I, I do that too because I get asked for recipes from time to time and so it's nice just to be able to have it on hand and you know like either email it or you know whatever it'd be fun to have it all nice and done up really cute. Okay so there you have it that's what you can do with the recipe cards in Photoshop and Elements. Thanks for stopping by.